Welcome guys, my name is Ruthias and this is Immersive Gaming and today I'm going to be giving you an in-depth tutorial on how to fish. Okay, now most of you would probably want to know where you get all the equipment, especially the wine corks, okay, but I thought I'd start at the fun part of it and then I'll go and show you where to find all these things. What you are basically looking for when you are looting for fishing gear is first of all a reel, although you can craft a reel as well. Crafting the reel isn't that hard, you just need basic survival. It's basically two long sticks, two tree bark rope, a wire, two nails, and a cutting tool, okay? Then you can make um, the rod. Rod, not so difficult. The reel, a little bit difficult because you need two wine corks, and the line is not difficult. The floater is a little bit difficult because we need a wine cork to use as a floater. But if you just search towns and garages all the time, you will stumble upon these items. So first of all, we need the rod, okay? Then we need to put the reel on it, just like it would be in sequence in real life, guys. We put on the reel. Then we can't put on this line, but this is probably how you're gonna find it. So then you right click, you say take out nylon line and I, chose the strongest line because that is what you're looking for. You will get 0 0.25 line and you will get 0 0.18 line, which is great for small fish. But once you have the 0 0.5 line, you're going to make fishing a lot easier for yourself. So we're just going to take on, take out three of these in case we, we, you know, in case a monster bites right from the start so there we have the line okay so we can attach the line then the second item that you're going to find is floaters loose or in boxes okay a great tip that one of my viewers told me is that the blue box glows in the dark okay so that's really really cool i want you guys to go do that for yourselves go fish at night and see your floaters glow in the dark that sounds freaking awesome man so we're going to put our floater on. Then the second thing you're going to get is um, fish hook packs. Don't really worry about what fish hook pack you get. It's fine. You can use any of them. I was hoping that the double hooks and the triple hooks means that you can put like three pieces of bait on there. And then you don't have to put the bait on again. You know, you can just keep reeling after you've caught a fish. Maybe they will implement that in the future. I'm not sure. But that's normally what a double hook and a triple hook is used for. So that you can wait until you catch another fish. You know, and on a triple hook, you wait until three fish bite. And then you reel them in. But I thought they could make it that a double hook can take two pieces of bait. And a triple hook can take three pieces of bait. Just making it easier for you that you can just keep reeling while you're catching. Just a nice quality of life there. Then you're going to get these boilies. And it's fine to start with them. You can use a lot of things as fish bait. You can look for earthworms next to the rivers. You can use meat. Okay, you can use cheese. You can use bread. There's a lot of things that you can use for bait. But this is usually what you'll find while you're looting for fishing gear. Okay, and that's what we're going to use. We're going to use the boilie. Okay, so... There we've got our whole kit. So all you do is you press 1, okay? And then you press V, okay? You can press V to pull it back. You can click the mouse button, but get used to pressing V because V is going to help you to reset your fishing rod when, you're, when you've got your line in the water, okay? If you've got your line in the water, then pressing your mouse button isn't going to help. Only V is going to reset it, okay? So now we've got a bar on our right-hand side. And what we're going to start with is fresh water fish. Fish that are in dark blue water, okay? We're going to look at what fish we can get here. I only chose this dam. I love fishing at this dam, but this dam is closer to all of you. There's a little dam there, okay? You can go fish in the river, but your line's going to follow the stream, okay? Which isn't that relaxing. 
So, you know, rather than go fishing a dam there, there, or go fishing in the ocean. The fo in the ocean, your line won't go anywhere, okay? But I just chose the dam that everyone can get to, okay? So we're going to start with freshwater fish. So what you do is you're holding your mouse button, and it will just throw it. You don't even have to time it, okay? You can just throw it. Then you can see your floaters in the water. You can hold in your right mouse button to zoom in to have a better eye on your floater. And as soon as your floater dips below the water, that means a fish has bitten onto it. And then you just left click to hook the fish. Okay. You can leave the right mouse button if your eyes are fine. Okay. I like to put my fishing rod a bit to the, to the right. So that I've got a better view of the floater. And now you just want to wait for a fish to bite. Okay. I'm feeling that rock over there can get me in a bit deeper. So all I do now is if nothing's biting, I just press V. Okay. There I've got everything back. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to jump over here. I think this is going to get me a little bit deeper. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't really want to stand in the water because then I'm going to freeze my butt off. I might get a little bit cold. Yeah, how deep are we? We're not that deep, but we might freeze. Okay, so and now again, just press V. That little, that little ripple there showing me that there's fish there. So again, I can just hold in my button, throw it in. Okay, hold right mouse button if you're a little bit blind like me. And then there it hooks. Now you want to release. As soon as a fish pulls like that, you want to mouse crawl wheel forward. Okay, you want to mouse crawl wheel forward so that you don't keep tension on your line. Now what, this is a big one, boys. This is a big one. Now what you want to do is you want to hold in shift because shift is going to speed up what you're doing. Now you want to reel it in, reel it back. With shift, hold in shift. Reel it in, reel it back. Reel it in, reel it back. Reel it in, reel it back. Don't reel it in for too long because then you're going to break the line, okay? And you don't want to go all the way down. You can see he's coming to us, okay? You don't, you just want to release the tension on the line. If you keep the tension on the line, you're going to break the line. So here he is. We're reeling him in slowly but surely, okay? Slowly but surely with our shift key. We have to use shift, guys. Otherwise, the line is going to break. Okay, and there we've caught a nice nine kilogram carp. Okay, and usually you can just reel them in because they're too weak. But when you when a fish bites and it's pulling your line immediately, immediately scroll your mouse wheel forward. Immediately give the fish slack because if you take too long, he's going to snap it immediately, guys. If you hit a monster, two monsters have 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 bitten my line i've got about two seconds to react one second maybe you just go gone okay and he is a monster can even break your line before it goes into the red before your bar goes into the red it can snap your line okay so now we can walk with the fish like if you want to stand in the water just walk with your fish where you can see it keep it and then you're going to put it down there on the floor okay so now we just repeat the step. You can cut this up, but this is a great source of food, guys, because it won't go bad. Okay. And one day when you want to eat it, then you can go chop it up. Okay. Um, looks like I lost my Bushman knife, but if you've got a Bushman knife, then you can just right click, chop it up and eat it. And you can even use the chopped up fish as bait, but we're probably going to find a sardine at some point. So now we just put the boilie back on. Okay. Um, press V or the ma or the left mouse button, okay? And then we hold in our mouse button and we throw it in, okay? And repeat that step. Now, the weaker your line is, the more tricky it's going to be not to break your line, okay? But using the shift key works quite nicely. But the, the crafted line, guys, most of the fish is going to break your line, okay? See, I'm releasing it. I'm releasing it. Now, if I do this, it takes long. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. Okay, I can do this. 
it's a bit more natural doing this. But the shift, the shift, people use the shift so that they so that they can get into the tension area quickly and get out. Because if you stay in the tension area too long, you're gonna break the line. Okay? But I like doing it like this. Okay? Just pulling and releasing. So there we've got another carp. We keep it. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay, now we can just put it in our backpack again. And at some point we should we should catch a sardine. Don't know where the hell the sardines are, but let's stand nice here. Hold it in. And there we go. So the shift, the only reason people use shift is so that they can get into, they can pull him in really quickly and, and release the tension. Pull him in really quickly and release the tension. And you're going to have to do that with a monster. You can't really play without the shift key if you've got a monster on the line. Because as soon as a monster bites, you're going to have to already have your finger on shift. You're going to need to hold in your shift right from the start because if he bites, you need to shift release. You need to give him a heck of a lot of slack immediately before he break, breaks your line. And then you're going to fight for your life, boys. Then you're going to fight for your life. Okay, that's the exciting thing about fishing. You do get monsters. Unfortunately, the two really big monsters or the monsters that have bitten my line have broken it. Okay, because um, it's just a little bit too tricky. This one is a big one again. Okay, this one is a big one again. So again, we just give him slack. We reel it in. And I like to keep my slack below half. Okay, I don't want to keep my slack here because that's normally where you're you can you can hear that. Okay, you can hear that. That's that's tension. Okay, so I want to go below half, reel it in. 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 Okay? And that's how you catch fish. Now it doesn't want to give us any any um any other fish. So Okay. So let's just put our line away here quickly. And it doesn't want to give us any sardines. So what I'm going to do now. So I'm just going to spawn in a bushman quickly. Or a kitchen knife, guys. Doesn't have to be a bushman. It can be a kitchen knife. And yes, guys. When you come fishing. Remember you're going to be using energy. Just by standing here. So bring yourself a little bit of African biltong. MRE. Bring yourself some food. And drinks. Okay. So that you don't suffer. While you're here. Enjoy yourself. Okay. So now with the bushman. What we can do. Is we can chop this up. But we're not going to use this to eat it. Okay, we don't want to do this now. One day when we go home, we put this in our crate and then we chop it up when we want to eat it. Okay, and we're going to have food forever and ever and ever until we get raided. So now I want to turn this into bait. And I can even cook this, cook this fish right here if I want to. Okay, but now we're just going to take that bait. And let's see if we can get a... Uh, I think the, the fishes that bite are quite random. Okay, but let's just see if we can get another fish to bite here before we go to the ocean. Okay, there's a, I have caught in a lot of fish here. A lot of different fish. Okay, so I want, you guys, I want you guys to see something else than just that carp. Again, normal, hold in. Okay, that's it. Sometimes they bite really quickly, and then it says fish got away. I don't know. Maybe that's the magical one. You know, the one where you have to, you have to, you know, I don't know. Maybe that's how you catch a magical fish. Maybe those are the monsters, the monsters that can never be caught. The ones where, the ones where they touch that line, you have to click the button. Maybe that's part of the challenge. Okay. The, the heavy ones, maybe you have to be really, really fast with the heavy ones. 
But those ones you have to, this is a, this is a small one, guys. Anything that that doesn't push the tension is small. Okay, so here's a cruise and carp now. Okay, so that's another fish. That's another fish. We can just put our bait on. And that's it, guys. That's fishy. Okay. There's no other tricks to it. The main trick is that the line doesn't get broken. That's where most people frustration is. But it's because of the line that they're using. With the crafted line, I can only catch really, really small fish. It's literally just got two bars. It's got a blue bar and a red bar. And that bar actually, sh actually teaches you very, very nicely. Okay, because that bar shows you that 50% and above, you're putting too much tension on the line. And then 50% and below is the safe zone. So your crafted line is actually a great teacher of how to fish. Because that's the only line where you see 50% of your bar being red at the top and 50% of your bar being blue at the bottom. So it teaches you right from the start when you craft line that you want to have your tension below 50%. And as soon as it goes above 50%, that's putting tension on the line and that can let your line be broken. Okay? You're taking a risk when your tension is above 50%. Okay? Usually it only breaks when it reaches the top. Okay? But if, if you hook a monster, it's going to break before it reaches the top. Okay? So... That line show, shows you the basics nicely. And then the shift key is what the pros use, okay? What we have figured out over time. Um, so that we don't keep a lot of tension on the line and that we can pull them in quickly. But if I don't need to use shift, I don't because it looks a bit unnatural pulling the fish in that quickly, okay? I look like Flash Gordon. Looks like I'm going to rip the fish in half, you know, if I pull it in that quickly. But it is a way to use on big fish. But the shift key helps you a lot. Like when you craft the blueprint, okay, if you're holding shift and you press F, you're going to add all the items that you want to add to the blueprint instead of adding them one by one. You guys know me. Every video. Every video I like, or most of my guide videos, not really my long videos, that's for my other viewers. Most of my guides, I like to give you guys a bonus tip that you didn't know you were going to get. It's like a little surprise, okay? It's like a little lucky packet. Every time you do the effort to click on my video and to watch my video, I'm going to give you a tip that you guys didn't know. Going to give you a bonus tip, guys. When it rains really hard, and you've got a two liter bottle or a canteen or a water bottle, okay? When it rains really hard and your canteen or your water bottle is empty, don't do it when it's not empty, do it when it's empty. You can right click on it, got away, really. You can right click on it and you can fill it with a bit of water, okay? Okay, that's enough lucky packets for one video. We need more lucky packets for future videos. So yeah, when this happens, okay, I just press F. I just press F, okay? And then I throw it in again. I don't like waiting long. Um, yeah, I give it about one minute or 30 seconds, you know? And then, then I can, you know, then it's quicker. Waiting, just letting your line get closer to you, that's a little bit boring. Okay, so I like to feel like a fly fisherman. Now we've got a bleak. A bleak we can add to the line, so let's do that. A bleak we can make fish bait. And now we can use that as fish bait. Okay. Get our line here. Now we've got a bleak on it. Okay. That's what I like to do. I like to act like I'm a fly fisherman. Okay. Just playing around with my line. If nothing bites, I, pull, I, I, I press V, pull it back in, and then I throw it in again. Okay, instead of just sitting here for 10 minutes, going, anything gonna bite? Anything gonna bite? You can do this, make it a little bit more interesting for yourself, okay? Feel like a real fisherman. 
Or you can just pull it in. Press V. Say, come on. Another spot. Okay, I like to throw the line to different spots. Like I say, boys, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. That's how much time. Uh, 30 minutes. 30 seconds to a minute. That's that's the amount of time I give my fish to bite. If they don't bite within a minute, I throw into another spot into the another spot. Okay. Maybe the fish in my previous spot spot got clever. And again, if it's below 50%, guys, then it's very easy. Okay. There's a Persian carp. Okay. So at the end of the video, I'm going to show you two monsters. Okay, I'm going to show you two monsters. In the ocean, you catch different fish, but it's roughly the same. It's roughly the same. Okay, I don't want to make this video too long. So let me go now to where to find these items. I have set my single player uh, settings to max loot now. Just so that I can show you where these items spawn. Because on official servers or normal loot settings, you might be searching 50 towns and getting very frustrated. But that's because you don't know where it spawns. Like most of us know where screwdrivers spawn in garages, in those little, um, you know, in those little brown, brown tables. But screwdrivers actually spawn at a, at a lot of places. But if we want to focus screwdrivers, we, we, we do, Focused looting, okay? So, the corkscrews spawn in various places. But we're going to do some focused looting on fishing gear and on corkscrews. So, let's get this done. And don't go away because at the end of the video, I'm going to show you my, my biggest monster that I've caught in freshwater. And I'm going to show you my biggest monster that, I, that I've caught in seawater, okay? So, it's going to be quite exciting. Don't go away, boys. Okay, guys. So this is the first um, fishing item that I have found. Okay. Just to make sure, I am going to throw all of my fishing equipment here to see what we find. Okay. So just going to throw away all the fishing items that we spawned in all the fish we can put this in here so let's just let's just open our backpack here and i have been looting this town for quite a while so i was thinking that i'm not gonna find anything here okay so I'm quite surprised that I found something here. But in any case, first one is a locker. A locker in like a workshop. These workshops, locker in the workshop, we find the 0.22 nylon. Okay. So yeah, going to keep on searching. And we're going to take notes, boys. Get out your notepads. Get out your notepads. This is max loot settings just for us to learn. I am going to learn with you guys, okay? And I've looted this. The first town is just above the dam here. Not very good, boys. Not very good. I've been searching extremely long, not finding anything. And I'm, I'm looting everything. So check back with you boys now. Okay, guys, so spot number two, right here on the table. Right here on the table, okay? Again, right there where we found the locker, okay? R right in this place, in these workshops, okay? Right in this workshop, right on the table, we found the 0 0.18 line. Okay, so we found the 0 0.18 line and the 0 0.25 line in this workshop. Okay. Luthias, is a shotgun worth it? A crafted shotgun, or any shotgun for that matter. 
I don't know, buddy. You tell me. You tell me. I'd say a shotgun with box shot. Not bird shot, box shot. Is a heck of a lot of fun. A heck of a lot of fun. You'll never worry about puppets again. I've shot this gun twice and it's only at 99%. So I'll be able to shoot this gun about 100 times before I start, or at least 60 times before it starts jamming on me. Okay, so if I repair this gun fully, then it's gonna t it's gonna take a while for it to give me any problems. I'd say it's a heck of a lot of fun, guys. A crafted shotgun and a crafted shotgun doesn't take a lot. It takes medium, uh, probably medium rifles and um, duct tape, scrap metal, small wood log, two scrap metal, a metal pipe, and a cutting tool. Very, very easy to craft. Very, very easy to craft. Just make sure that the resources that you use to craft it, there's the metal pipe. Just make sure that the resources that you use to craft it is quite high. You know, the durability of it is quite high. Otherwise, your shotgun is going to start with quite low durability. And yes, I am searching the puppets as well. Okay, boys, here we go. This rubbish container over here. Okay, this specific kind of rubbish container with the black bags inside has given me a wine cork. Okay. Now, what I want to see quickly. A wine cork is a wine cork, guys. But you know me. You guys know me. You guys know me. No, can't repair it. Let's see, 9%, 9%. Okay, so it's in the, so the wine corks are in those rubbish containers. So the corks only 9%. Let's see what happens when we combine it with a bow needle. Okay, let's see what happens when we combine it with a go with a bow needle. Of a hundred percent. Nine percent wine cork. Hundred percent. Hundred percent improvised fishing floater. Good shit. So that dude right there. That dude right there. We're gonna look for more dudes. That's hiding our freaking wine corks. Let's go. Take notes, boys. Take notes. Two assault backpacks there. Two assault backpacks there. Two assault backpacks there. I know this is a fishing guide. But I will make a looting guide soon. Three backpacks. Okay, take notes, boys. Take notes. If you want to loot like a pro, do the research. There's a battery. There's a spawn point there. There's a spawn other another spawn point here. There's rubbish here. There can sometimes be a spawn point here. Diary. Getting on top of police stations is not a bad idea. Getting off police stations is not a bad idea either.
Pulling point over there. Oh, wine cork, boys, wine cork in these boxes, in these boxes, all right? Wine cork in those, in those crates. Wine cork in those crates. Check the area. Check the area. One, two boxes to your right. Check your area. No boxes here. One box here. In the wooden box. In the wooden box. I am now at a fishing village. A fishing village. Okay, there's a lot of fishing villages. Um on the ocean side and yes in this big in this big house okay this big house the way that you go upstairs with okay it's got three stories here in this place right here i found the fishing reel okay found the fishing reel let's see if we can find anything else here quickly because it's a fishing village Nothing really there. Nothing there. Quickly run through it together. And fishing rod. Okay. And the fishing rod. So, these shells hold fishing gear as well. Close the door if you can, because the shotgun does take time to reload. So just cover yourself while you are reloading. Remember my tips, just always jog, always jog to build, your, to build your dexterity as you naturally play. Only sprint when you really, really need to sprint. Press tab every now and then just to check if there's anything in the area. Like I can't see anything here, but I'm going to press tab. Open, open drawers. Can't loot anything that's open, guys. Can't loot anything that's open. Only cupboards and stuff that are closed. Okay, so we found a, re a reel and a rod. So far, okay. So far, fishing village, much better. In any case, the blue, the blue little tables here. Again. More line. Again, the zero, 0 0.5 line. Let's just check something here. Can we add it? No, we can't add it. We can't add it. Okay. So don't try that. But again, the cupboards, guys. The cupboards. The cupboards are a really, really nice way. Get the loot. To get the loot. 
cupboards and lockers. Small cupboards and lockers. Not the big cupboards. Not the big cupboards. The small cupboards. And the lockers. Okay, this base is going to be padlocks and bobby pins mostly. A lot of soap in there. <laughs> Don't know what the soap is doing in there. Normally the loot is very relevant to where you find it. Let's check in here. Check in there. There's a clip. There's a clip on the ground. Okay, loot everywhere boys, loot everywhere, loot everywhere, okay, lockers and small cupboards, lockers and small cupboards and in workshops, is there anything lying around here, I just like to do this, like to run like this, because you do get items that lie around you. Let's go see what the shop is. Let's go see what the shop is. There's gunpowder. And an assault backpack. And food. As they should be. Food, food. This is why you come in here. It's for food. Okay, let's move on. Sea Town winner, winner, winner. Yeah, here's a big, here's a big place. I like the big places. Now let's do some focus looting. Don't waste any time with things that we know are not going to work. Scan this place, man. Let's scan this place. Binoculars, thank you. Yes, you don't want to run. I'm just giving you a quick, 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 quick tour, yeah? See, in the washing machines and the big cupboards, you get diving equipment. But I don't know if that's linked. Medical, medical, boys, medical. I don't know if that's linked. I don't know if the fishing gear is linked with the diving gear, but I have found diving gear in the bigger cupboards. Again, I can't see it, but it's there. Still wondering where I got that other cork. I hope I recorded it. Because I don't know where I got the other cork from. I know I made the floater from the first cork. And then I showed you that cork. But the spare cork. Got no idea where that came from. What you boys want? What you boys want? Not today, fellows. Not today. Not today. 
locker, 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 locker. We only need floaters. We crafted the floater, but we only need to get the floaters. We've got the reel, we've got the rod, we've got the reel, we've got the line, we've got the hook. We only need floaters. We only need floaters, boys. Let's get this finished. Let me show you those two monsters that I caught. Okay, boys. Um, bonus info. I just found a full yellow screwdriver in this crate right here. This crate right here, boys. Full yellow screwdriver. I know you can find them in different places. They are quite rare. But, and then the other thing, boys, is sardines are OP protein. Gives you very little fat. Okay, very little fat, 0 0.5 grams, but a total of 23 grams of uh, protein. That is double what meat usually gives you. Okay, so sardines, very, very, very good. And since there's such a lot of rubbish here, I just want to check this rubbish out. And then I want to check the lockers out because this place has got a lot of lockers. Okay, and we see the no the see you get this locker with a lock on, you get this locker with a lock on, then you get this normal locker. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking the normal lockers. This is like bobby pins or something, yeah. Okay, so I'm thinking this place has got lockers in it. I'm thinking this place has got lockers in it. So I want to check it out, man. I want to check out the lockers. Don't want to miss anything. But the lockers is definitely our main focus. Okay, we're not scared of these guys. We don't need to do the rope -a dope dope While we've got the firepower. So these are the normal lockers. But they are police lockers. Okay, so usually they just give me... Yeah, you know, like helmets, really cool gear, but I'm wondering, I just wanted to check, I just wanted to check if those lock, if these lockers can give you the same kind of loot as the other lockers do. Police lockers seem different, they seem different, but I mean, looting, looting police stations are always a good idea. So yeah, sardines are good, and those crates are good as well. That's wonderful, man. That's wonderful. Hello. Bye-bye. Nothing here. Sometimes something spawns here. Yeah. Where is it? Where is it? Where? Where is it? Whoop. Got awareness. Got advanced awareness, man. Where is it? Okay, okay. We're getting hotter. We're getting hotter. There it is. Okay, like I told you, some stuff does spawn here. You can just run over here. And then ammo even spawns there at the top. I don't know if I can jump onto this. Yes, I can jump onto this. But there's a ladder at the back. Okay. So you can get stuff on the roofs as well. Ammo, like I told you. You can get ammo here on the roofs. Okay. And now we've got everything we need. We can put down this. We can put that on. Um, we can take all, take out this line. We can put on the line, we can put on the floater, we can take out the small fishing hook, put on the fishing hook. Ah, I saw a lot of bait guys, I saw a lot of bait. But I didn't take the bait. I didn't take the bait. So that was dumb. And I've got a spare floater. 
I've got a spare floater. Okay, that was quite dumb. No, that's not gonna work. <laughs> that was dumb, man. That was dumb. That was dumb. I don't know if you, I've never never ran onto these things. A lot of people say they just travel the rivers and the oceans, and then they get little towns and everything, you know, where they find stuff. So I don't know. Maybe you can find stuff like there. I'm not sure. But let's see if we can get some bait quickly. Real line floater hook bait don't disappear on us fishies don't disappear on us we're coming let's catch our first fish boys let's catch our first fish let's catch our first fish that floater is a big one but still i like to use the right mouse button i still like to use the right mouse button Always just give them 30 seconds to bite. If they don't bite in 30 seconds, I am reeling it in. Nope, I'm not happy with that spot. Let's try the spot. There we go. This guy's a bit of a fighter, but nothing major. Three kilogram, orata. That's it boys, now we can chop up the fish for bait, okay? Now we can just go there, we're gonna, we're gonna fish now for days, okay? We're gonna fish for days because this one fish is gonna give us nine pieces of bait. If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor and smash that like button. Any further requests that you have, leave it down in the comments. Everyone that requested this video, in in the previous um in the tributes guide is probably very happy okay so yes click that sub button if you want to see and learn everything there is to see and learn about scum and i'll see you guys in the next video cheers but wait i'm going to show you the two monsters i'm going to show you the two monsters don't go yet I deleted the footage, boys. I deleted the footage. Um, I mixed it in with my hunting video. And yeah, I deleted the hunting video's footage because I was finished uploading it. And then I deleted the two big catches as well. But I promise you two monster catches, so we're gonna make it interesting. We're gonna make it interesting, okay? I catch, I caught a 10 kilogram catfish here, and then I caught a 10 kilogram tuna at the ocean. But what we're gonna do now to make it interesting is I'm gonna try and catch a catch fish here again, and then I'm going to craft a raft and see if we can catch something bigger in the deep sea okay just to make it a little bit more interesting so here i go this is going to be a long one boys this is going to be a long one mm. 
blummy, 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 that was a monster! That was a monster! Come on, Thais, come on, man! Come on, man! <laughs> Come on, man! Come on! Come on! Get your head in the game! Get your head in the game! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! You mine! You mine! You mine! You mine! You mine! Oh! Oh! You mine! You mine! You mine! You moin! You moin! Ooh, you moin! 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 Oh my word, guys! 14.2 kilograms! 0 0.8 away from the maximum achievement! I caught a lot of fish, I caught a lot of fish um, at the dam guys, one catfish bit, I lost it, I'll give you the footage of the catfish that I caught on Survival Evolved, then you'll see the biggest fish that you can catch in fresh water, and the tuna is the biggest fish that you can catch um, in salt water at the moment. I've caught quite a lot of fish. If any of you knows about a bigger fish than um, a tuna and a catfish, give me the name in the comments below and I'll keep hunting for that monster. Whew. It was a long day, boys. It was a long day. Holy poop was the long day. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven oratas. Eleven oratas. Thank goodness. Now we can go home, boys. Now we can go home. Now we can go home. Extra tip for you, as always, forward to put the sail down, okay? And then Q to turn the sail this way. And E to turn the sail this way. I'm on the edge of the freaking map here, okay? So you always want a bit of the wind with you, and then you can turn into the wind. So as you see, the wind's coming from that side. So now I want to turn my sails like this. So hopefully get to get to some land. I'll see you boys later. Cheers, boys. Go catch those monsters. Whoa. Okay, so I have to let the fish go. Okay, so this is what I'm talking about. I'm going to hold in shift. Okay, and then I'm going to reel him in. And then I'm going to let go. Okay, then I'm going to reel him in and then let go. Reel him in, then let go. Reel him in, then let go. But I'm holding a shift, guys. I'm holding a shift, so I'm reeling him in and letting go. Okay? Reeling him in, letting go. 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 Holding shift, holding shift. I'm holding shift so that I don't reel him in too long. And there we go. Okay, I don't know why he gave us such a big challenge. He's lighter than the line, but that's what I'm feeling. You reel him in in that red zone, but you don't stay in that red zone for long. I could have probably reeled him in normally, but that's a big fish, man. Oh my word, this is a big fish. Is it wider? Is it a wider fish? It's a wider fish. Okay, eat, baby, eat. Ah, we caught a catfish, boys! Caught a big catfish, 9 kilogram catfish! 
What's up in the wood, dude? But I'm thinking that's the mini game. The only way you can get them to you when they when they press in your line all the time is with shift. Is to pull him in quickly and then release the line. That's what I'm thinking, boys. That was what I'm thinking. I could be wrong, but that's what I'm thinking. Okay, that makes sense in a mini game. And again, how big is this damn fish, man? Goodness gracious me. Okay, let's put all this these freaking things down. How big is this freaking fish? Do we need a vehicle to take the fish home, eh? Do we need a freaking vehicle to take these fish home, boys? How big is this fish? Okay, he's only there. Okay, he's only there. Okay, he's not wider than that. He's not wider than that. Okay, but how long, how tall is he? Goodness gracious me, that's a big boy. That is a big boy, guys. Goodness gracious, we have to go home with that fish. Okay, where's my fishing line? There's my fishing line. Okay. I'll just eat a little bit so long. My energy is fine. Just gonna eat this corn so long, but okay. We caught a catfish, boys. We caught a catch catfish. I'll keep the instant replay on and let you guys know if I catch anything bigger. Okay, but I have to take this catfish home. So yeah. I'll see you guys now now. Let you know if I found anything. But I think that's a good find. I think that's a good catch, boys. I think that's a good catch.